Yeesh. You can't tell forward from back in here. Let's try over that way, maybe? Good idea. It seems different from the rest of the void. Look out! So it failed. Has my skill degraded that sharply over the years? Arval. I have been searching for you. And look what you brought me. The three who fancy themselves sovereigns, ruling over that abomination's wretched spawn. What unexpected luck. I do hope you are all prepared to face death this day. So you're Arval, huh? Sorry, but I can't say dying here sounds all that appealing. What we'd really like is for you to lift this weird sorcery of yours and send us home. Oh, I do not think that will be happening. But even if I desired to accede to your wishes, the great forbidden spell of Zaharas is a one-way journey. None can escape this eternal darkness. Are you certain? Would killing you not accomplish the task? Something tells me they wouldn't lay this trap, only to suffer the same fate as us. If this being can free themselves from this void, it stands to reason that so too can we. Then try cutting me down if you like. Sadly, what you see before you is but an illusion. I have a task to fulfill, and once it is accomplished, I shall leave this place alone. Arval, wait! What task are you talking about? Why did you use me? What are you trying to do here? Ah, but you are mistaken. I am not Arval. My name is Epimenides, an ordinary man who vowed to kill the beast which set the Earth ablaze. Do you not comprehend my purpose? I must save this world and its true people. That is why I chose to pass my consciousness down through the ages. And you, you are the vessel for that consciousness. What does that mean? I don't know what's going on, but I do know whoever that is needs to be stopped. And how far are you willing to go? Will you cut down your own friends to reach me? Hubert? No. It must be a double. If so, it's completely indistinguishable from the real thing. Vile sorcery indeed. Why are you consorting with the enemy? This right where you want him. Why are you. No. This is a deception. The man I know would never raise a weapon. 
God, no! Don't do this! I can't believe you would hurt me. This is harder than I thought. I mean, how do we know for sure they're not real? Yeah, not bad. The Emperor is before you. Deal the killing blow. Would that fool me? If it were really me, you'd understand. You would switch your hands and look the other friends to get what you want. I should have expected no less from the children of beasts. Watch this! Surroundings have changed. This place is so twisted you can't even tell where you are. Aren't you sad for your comrades, murderers? <gasps> there it is. There is your rage. Uh-oh. I can spot one fake, but how do I tell which Edelgard and Dimitri are on my side? Perhaps each of us should take on their own double to prevent confusion. It's <laughs> not a bad idea. This darkness is a mirror for the soul. And once a soul is imprisoned here, it is eternally severed from the real world. Is that why Edelgard is returned to normal? Some trick of the darkness? Just imagine how much easier our task will be with the two of us. A nice thought, yes. But I'm sad to say I failed to trust even myself. Why are you helping the Emperor, wretch? If you mourn your friends, avenge them! It's a blessing I get to face you. There is truly no one I more desire to end. Stop playing the kind soul. Everything we've ever wanted is before us, right for the taking. If you're really me, then you already know why I'm doing this. I don't like leaving my fate up to luck. Nice try! Is that all? Nice try! I can't say it's pleasant watching my own death. Take a breather. No problem, I got it. I 
feel like I just slew my twin brother. Thank our adversary for letting me experience that. Watch this! Couldn't hurt. That's the last of the illusions. So it would seem. At least now we're certain they're not real. We can cut them down without mercy. Again? Please tell me we're gonna find that guy this time. Right. Let's get searching. Oh, but you four are a marvel to think you are already adapting to this place. Now have the grace to lay down your lives and let the world you've torn apart heal. You're not Arva. And even if you were, I'd fight you all the same. Achieve nothing, for you will all still be trapped in this place.
will end you! So even our mercenary friend gets affected. This is going to take all of us. Time to put our differences aside. My attacks aren't getting through. What's going on? Ha! None can stand before us. What about our phantom mercenary friend? We know we can harm the illusions, right? Why does it have to be you? I don't want to fight you! This myself. So be it. Come at me if you dare. Our adversary has finally run out of tricks. Time to finish this. Any price. You fool! Why must 
you resist me so! You know my reason! The tomorrow we're fighting for! It's power to me! It's incredible. Just how strong you've become. Orval. You have grown more than I ever thought possible. And yet... I've never felt more alone. Hesitate no longer. I'm glad to be of use. Looks like we made it out in one piece. Are you sure about that? I still have no idea what's going on. Yes, it all felt like a strange fever dream. Whatever was that place? It seems we've lost sight of Edelgard as well. Maybe she got back before we did and hightailed it out of here. I doubt she got far, though. The real question is, where would she go? Garrig Mok, surely. She must seek to reconvene with the Imperial forces. What do you want to do? Should we get back to the search? Or maybe we'd be better off regrouping with the others first. The latter. We weren't gone long, but I worry for our friend's safety. I should probably get back to my people, too. I don't want them going gray over little old me. But I'll see you both over at Garrick Mach. Oh, and uh, feel free to clobber the Imperial Army without us if you get there first. <laughs> Very well. We will see you there, Claude. Lord Uncle. Do not worry me so, Edelgard. Come. Let us handle everything for you. It has served us all exceedingly well so far. Yes, 